Hi, my love, beautiful souls of Mystic Rose 1111. I'm back with you, bringing dark into light. It's a timeless read, so please take what resonates and leave what does not fit for some else. Fuck the reading on perfume. Thank you to everyone liking, sharing, subscribing to my channel. Thank you, thank you so much, guys. I love you. Now you are mad. It's not for you guys, the most guys, so thank you so much. If you're new, hit the like button, share, subscribe, hit the button, and don't find Thank you again. Thank you for the donations, too, and the super thanks. I appreciate it. Thank you for purchasing products from my Etsy store as well. Hey, Holy Spirit, angels, and the highest way, and most high, please make an accurate reading for the collective. I just heard two souls coming together. Okay, I heard two souls coming together. Coming into union. After a hard battle of spiritual awakening, of trauma, pain, suffering. Two souls are coming together. This could be a twin flame. It could be a soulmate. Higher level soulmate. I'm hearing a hierarchy. Twins. High ranking in the spiritual realm, okay? The, there's two souls coming together that are high ranking in the spiritual realm. Very high ranking in the spiritual realm. Okay, what's going on? Thank you. Okay, hold on. Let's shuffle again. What's going on here with these two hierarchy twins coming in together? High ranking in the spiritual realm. What's going on here? They've worked on each other or on themselves, and now they're going to work together. Strength, empowerment, son. These these two souls they empower each other. Okay, they empower each other to do better. Okay, do better for themselves and do better for each other and do better for humanity. Okay, these two souls want to do better. They empower each other. They empower other people as well. People look up to these two souls. That's why they're high ranking in the spiritual realm. They have a high authority. Okay. I'm hearing one soul at least can be a judge in the spiritual realm. And then the one possibly could be two. But I'm actually hearing both of them can be judges in the spiritual realm. Okay? When they're in the spiritual court. Third eye clarity. Okay? They see things. They know things. They feel things. They One could be a high priest. Another one could be a high priestess. They bring clarity to others. They help others on their journey, and that's why that's why they've been high ranked. Okay, that that's why that's why God allowed them to be this high ranked. Okay, because they bring clarity to others, they help others, they empower others, not just themselves, but they help others. Okay, this did come out. Okay, so it is significant. Um, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, water energy coming out. Somebody's really drawn to the water. Blue is significant too, which I have two blue candles. Blue candles represent balance, truth. Harmony, patience, okay? These two souls have patience. They're balanced out. They bring harmony to the world. Somebody's in regret that they walked away from this person too. So somebody like could be in regret that they hurt. Okay, I'm hearing somebody is in regret that they hurt one of these twins or souls. And they want the forgiveness. These souls could be in regret of something in the past too. Spirit is saying, don't be in regret, okay? Let go. Regret, re regret, shame, guilt, worry is all low vibrational, okay? All low vibrational. They're fated to be together. There was a divine intervention here. Okay? I'm hearing they were torn apart in a past life. Okay, so these, these souls were meant to be together in a past life. And they're torn apart. Somebody came in between them. Okay, somebody came in between them, and they're meant to be in this past life, but um, because somebody came in between them, they were on a detour, and they had to find each other in this this life, okay? This life. Somebody was trying to um, stop this from happening from two souls. Somebody could have been doing um, astral travel interference as well, coming into someone's dreams, trying to manipulate a situation, making them believe that this person is not their other soulmate or their, you know, their, their, their divine counterpart. There was a lot of manipulation in the spiritual realm, or like in the dream state, not spiritual dream state. There could have been a succubus incubus attached to both souls or just the one. Memories, remembering, yeah, somebody's finally remembering, okay? Remembering that they were meant to be together. Remember their past lives together. 
I'm I'm not I'm also hearing not just one time they're torn apart. I'm hearing they're they're they were together in several lives, but every time they were torn apart, something or someone came in between these the, these two souls. Someone or something came in between these two souls in every lifetime. And this lifetime they're this is the lifetime they're in union with Source Creator God. Okay. Bring those two souls back into one, like Mary Madeline and Jesus. Bring those souls back into one. Adam and Eve, you know, bring them back to one. To Source Creator God. They have a big purpose. The knowledge that they have is that they're going to share with the world, okay? And they both have different knowledge, okay? So I'm hearing like one soul has a little bit of some other kind of knowledge and this other soul has a little bit of another knowledge. One can be more spiritual, one can be more religious. And when they come together, it's like, it's like balanced, the yin and yang, the yin and yang, okay? It works out peanut butter and jelly, mac and cheese, you know, like... Mac and cheese taste good together, you know, macaroni, and then you put cheese together, it tastes wonderful. Peanut butter and jelly, when you put it together, it's wonderful. It tastes good, okay? Yin and yang, black and white, bringing it together, okay? Be grat they're, they're, There's gratitude, okay? They're thankful for what they have. Be grateful for what you have. They're going to be abundant. Be grateful that you can wake up and you can breathe, you can see, you can hear, you can taste, you can touch, okay? Those are things that we always take for granted, Okay, we, every single human being takes us for granted that we get to wake up and breathe and eat and taste and sleep or um, see and hear because there's individuals out there that can't see. There's individuals out there that can't taste, can't smell, can't hear, you know, so we take it for granted. We need to be more um, grateful for have, being able to wake up and see, eat, taste, okay, have the things that we have, you know, water. And, you know, there's, there's three, there are real countries that don't have no water, okay? Don't have food, don't have shoes, you know? Be thankful that we have socks and shoes. We have cars. We have beds to sleep in. We have clothes, okay? Okay, yeah, I see. They've been in separation for a long time. Okay, they've been longing for each other. They've, they both felt like, I'm hearing, they both felt like they were missing something, someone or something, okay? Something was just a missing piece in their life. They didn't feel complete. They didn't feel whole. Okay. But be before they could feel complete and whole, they actually had to love one another or love each other. Blah. Love self. Okay. Just before they could love one another. Okay. So that's what spirit is telling me. So in the past life, they may not have loved the thyself. Okay. They did not love the thyself. They were loving material things, people, places, things, and stuff like that. In this life, they had to learn to love self. Okay. Take care of self. Be, you know, Put number put themselves first before anybody else and once they did that that's how they're able to you know love one another love love thyself to love one another there was a lot of work here okay for these two souls to come together a lot of work for these two souls to come together and to become this hierarchy um high ranking spiritual being in the spiritual realm freedom taking that leap of faith uranus opportunities coming for both of these souls a lot of chemistry, passion, union, home, com um, commitment. Nothing's going to break these two apart, okay? Nothing's going to break these two souls apart in this life. This life, this this they're meant to be together, this life. Because all the work they've done in the past life, all the healing, all the growing, okay? They both went through the dark kind of soul. They both did the shadow work, okay? They were... The, the life, the things that they experienced from la the past lives, the things that they experienced were to, for them to grow in this life so they can learn and so they can teach and so they can come together. So they can close out the cycles from past life. Both souls used to let people get in, interfere in their lives, okay? That's what I'm hearing too. Both souls would let people interfere in their lives, okay? They needed um, validation. They needed... They needed to be codependent. Like they needed someone or something at all times. So before they could come together, they had to learn not to be codependent. They had to learn to um, be alone, love love self, and be able to be, you know, be independent. And so they can teach others as well to be that inspiration, to be that empowerment, that strength. They've been through a lot of battles, a lot of battles. Self-love, creation, intentions. 
okay? When you love yourself, you're able to manifest, you're able to create the, the world that you want around you, the heaven on earth, okay? People think heaven on earth is a physical form. It is not. It's heaven on earth is a consciousness, okay, of our mind, of being happy, in peace, in harmony, balanced out, um, having faith, okay? Living a wonderful, happy life without all the distractions and all the negativity and the toxic um, habits and behaviors, okay? So there's two souls that had to learn from that, had to grow from that, had to heal from that. Thank you, Spirit. Message coming. We are in Mercury retrograde, which is there is communication coming. Okay, Mercury, message, travel, communication. We are in that right now. So, again, this is something from the past that may be coming in. And this is maybe is somebody that you're meant to be with, remembering awakening. So, some in this Mercury retrograde, somebody's going to remember awake in this union. If there's a union, Mercury retrograde, it was meant to happen. Okay. If, if there was a union, because we're not to be, you know, Mercury retrograde, you don't want to break up people. You don't want to start a new relationship. But if it really does happen, it's meant to happen. Okay? Especially with this divine, divine intervention. Somebody's remembering awakening to this relationship, to this, this soul connection, this soul level. Both souls are here to waking up other people as well. Okay? Big breakthrough. Epiphany. Both of these souls are here to um, wake up other Whoever wronged these two souls are going to have some negative karma, okay? They're under divine judgment. So whoever um, harmed, hurt these souls, betrayed these souls, they're under divine judgment, okay, in the spiritual realm. One of them is walking karma. So one, one, one's walking karma. They both could be walking karma too. They're mirroring each other. Electric touch coming together. This was the lost love. Their time is coming together. They waited many, many, many lifetimes. Waited many, many lifetimes to come together for this union. This could happen by the solar eclipse by um, April 8th. This could happen. Soulmate, soul contracts. Whenever you came into my life, you saved me. So you, you, one of these souls saved you. One and okay, so I'm, there's a soul that saved one, but I'm hearing both souls saved each other. Okay, they saved each other. You, when you came into my life, you saved me. So I feel like, you know, this, if this is you, that your person saved your life and, or you saved their life or both Verse okay. Loyalty. Something from the past has to be let let go, okay? Something from the past has to be let go. This is a love story. You guys, true relationships do happen, okay? True love is out there. Okay, there is true love. There are couples that are happy and they're surviving and they're um, thriving. Okay, that's what I meant. Not surviving, they're thriving. And they're here to help others. It's just, we just don't see a lot of it because there's been so much trauma, so much hurt, so much betrayal, so much generation curses and stuff. But there are loving couples and you just may not see them because they're not big influencers, okay? They're not big celebrities and stuff like that. And they um, they keep to themselves too. They don't they don't put their, their relationship out there, okay? A lot of times... You'll see couples that have a relationship on social media. They're having all these problems and stuff. But then the people that are not having problems, they usually keep their relationship quiet. Okay, they don't. They don't want the public to know. They want. They want to have privacy. Okay, so I'm getting something like that too. These two souls may like a little bit more privacy. They don't want to, you know, blast their relationship all over the place because then there's so much distractions and so much um, interferences. Okay. There are, Spirit just told me there are many, many um, high-level soulmates, okay, and twin flames that are not influencers and that are not a public eye that are happily in love, okay? Many, many of them. Shooting for the stars. Love is closer than you think.
let it be. Okay, there's something from the past that needs to be let be. And family. So maybe you're walking away from family. Okay, this maybe you want to build a family with this person. But I'm also here, maybe you're walking away from a family or this other soul. Like somebody's family could have been just very, very karmic. It was one that was um, blocking this relationship. Interfering in this relationship. Causing problems in this relationship. So let it be. They're saying just allow things to happen naturally, okay? But I think these two souls already know that. Okay, I'm already feeling that these two souls already know that. They've done a lot of healing. They've done a lot of growing. They, they, they have, they've raised their vibration. And they've came, both of them came in Christ consciousness. Okay, so this this is a higher level relationship. Higher level um, soul divine relationship. They had to heal before this could even happen. There's something about trust too. They had to trust the most high, okay? Something about trusting the most high. Putting their faith in the most high to have this, you know, be balanced out for this relationship to come into union. Missing puzzle piece. This high ranking is just because of the fact that they're, what they went through, they've grown. Everything they've learned, they're able to teach now. Both of these souls went through a lot of trauma, a lot of pain, a lot of suffering in the past. They both had, like I said, the regret, and they've had to heal from that. They went through a death, Okay. A big change start over. This is a death. This could be both went through a spiritual awakening. Ego death. Scorpio. Transformation. We have a King of Pentacles a provider. Very successful. A father figure. Somebody may be coming with a love letter, a poem. I'm hearing somebody wrote a song for one another. This person's starting to take charge, King of Wands. Stepping into their masculine energy to come in. Creative lovers. So these two people also are very creative. Fire energy. So we have a king, king energy coming out. So masculine energy coming out here. There's a masculine stepping up, okay? Hearing to show and prove this female, this divine feminine, that they've changed, that they're better. They've healed. They're ready for this, this commitment. They're ready for this union. Okay. We have five swords in, in, inverted, okay? Somebody was trying to sabotage this. Someone tried to steal, like, stolen love, okay? Somebody tried to come into between this relationship, like I said, broke, broke, tried to break this relationship in the past. We have a King of Cups, too. Family man, devoted. There's somebody trying to still try to sabotage this connection. Hangman, divine timing. Both, I'm hearing both are going to get high honors. Queen of Pentacles. Generous. Committed. So we have um, Earth signs coming together. King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. Virgo, Capricorn, and... Virgo, Capricorn. Oh my gosh, what's the other one? Taurus. Oh, that's fair. What else? This is a mother, father. This is divine feminine, divine masculine, king and queen. Okay. Successful. Six of wands. This is a victory for them. A win for them. The sun enlightenment to twin flames.
Okay, we have two of pentacles. This, I'm getting this two of pentacles. Somebody is able to balance their family life, their social life, their, you know, spiritual life, whatever it is. They're really good at balancing, okay? They're really good at juggling things. Somebody's also a multitasker. Um, this also, somebody is really good at going from 3D to 5D, okay? Coming out of the 3D consciousness to the 5D consciousness to help others. And it could be both of them as well. Both of them are getting balanced out and juggling, like, juggling their life really well. Like, it's coming together. Somebody could be a juggler too. I'm hearing something about a circus. Somebody could have been a circus. Or into the circus. Going to the circus. Trying to distract you from one another. Adventurous. Page of Wands. Adventurous. Good news is on its way. We have Nine of Pentacles. This is a happy home. Stable. Stability. Someone wanted you to be trapped, stuck. Okay, wanted these souls to be trapped so they couldn't come together. That's not what's happening. Blessings coming. Somebody had to run away from their old life, okay? Somebody had to get away from their old life. Leave the past behind. Shine, shine bright like a diamond. Somebody walked away from a lot of people. A lot of people, places, things, okay? I'm hearing somebody could have walked away from a lot of money to be with this relationship, to come into this relationship too. So somebody could have walked away from like a wealthy family or like an like inheritance just to be with this person. They didn't care about the money, okay? They didn't care about the money. They just wanted true love, okay? They wanted a, a real authentic relationship. Somebody walked away from a family that they could have walked away from a cult. Okay, inheritance, legacy, some kind of wealth or something. They walked away to be with this person. They, they don't care. They'd rather be happy and in love than... Being involved with this cult or these old family members marrying someone. They wanted a true love. They didn't want to have to be in a group setting and stuff like that. They didn't want to have to have their business out there as well. I'm hearing. I said run away. They ran away. I'm not. And I'm hearing they're not hiding from their problems by running away. I'm hearing they ran away because they don't want to be part of it. But they know that like. So, like, by them running away, is not running from their problems. It's just running away from the people that are negative or karmic so they can actually live their own life, okay? Is what I'm hearing is to live their own life, okay? Not have to live a certain way. Okay, someone lived a certain way. Somebody didn't like living that way. Somebody didn't like being told what to do and what not to do. When they can eat, when they can sleep, when they can pray or whatever it is. Somebody didn't like that, okay? Somebody didn't like being told what to do. Being locked, I'm hearing being locked up either. Or they had to be a certain way. As I said, th th these two souls had a lot of trauma, a lot of pain, a lot of suffering. Waking up. Okay, waking up. Somebody could have walked away from addictions, okay? They could have been had addictions to heal from that. In recovery, somebody's in recovery. The world needs your unique gifts. Don't leave them still inside of you. Trust your intuition. Okay, I am hearing that this family or call could have been very jealous or envy or mad of the one or both because they are high ranking okay so we have jealous and envy because these two souls are high ranking in the spiritual realm that's why they're being hated on you are guided and protected two more please signs are everywhere pay attention soulmate friendship Two soulmates can come in together. Friendship. 
Darcy Lightworker Healer. They've activated their alien um, DNA as well. Okay, these two souls have activated their alien DNA. They ha they've activated activated their higher dimensional being, okay? Their multidimensional being, okay? They also understand duality. Um, they understand the negative and positive. They understand the dark to the light, okay? Trying to bring it into balance, okay? These two souls are very, very intel intel intelligent and very smart, witty, um, knowledgeable, wisdom, okay? To help others, show others, people as well. Okay, your light triggers their demons and exposes their shadow and triggers parts they don't want to heal. So if you were part of something, your your light triggers people, okay? Triggers their demons. They don't like that. It's because you're hierarchy um spiritual being. People don't like that you trigger them. You bossed up. Starseed. Okay, somebody can walk away from biker gangs. There could also be biker gangs that could actually go through a spiritual waking, go through a transformation, head of death, ego. They could have been part of a biker gang too, okay, you guys? They could have been a part of it. They walked away, okay? Fire again can be losing control. This call could be losing control because they have no upper hand on you now. Once you have woken, once you guys come into union, they have no control over you. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. They have no control over you, especially with this union. When it's ordained for you and you're the person of these two souls, there's nothing that anybody can stop. Okay, half holy, half gangster. Supernatural. Okay, both, be, both souls are into the supernatural. They both may see ghosts. They both may be medium psychics. Have abilities. We do have a psychopath coming out here. A psychopath could be trying to come in between you and your person. Between these two souls. Again, anyone that comes in between these two souls is going to have to um, deal with divine judgment. Okay, divine, deal with the God. Okay, sober. Sober, clean, and recovery. See, they come home to their higher self. Coming home. Somebody could be coming home from um, like overseas as well. You've just been waiting for this person coming home. Spend some some time. But I'm hearing this person's coming home back to their higher self, okay? They're activating their alien DNA. They're activating their higher dimensional being. They can't they can't keep you down. Divine feminine. Social media. These two couple, these two souls may not put them their their from their their relationship on social media. Okay, they may keep it closed minded. Okay, like keep it out of the doors, like shut, so people don't know everything, just for their protection, so they don't have that interference. As I said before, The ancient grandmother or grandfather, okay? It says, grandmother, but I'm hearing ancient grandmother or grandfather, the teacher. I am the teacher that lead with self-knowledge. You are the teacher that leads with self-knowledge, you and this other soul. Grandmother or grandfather, okay? You have the grand... You could still be in your 20s, 30s, 40s and not have a child, grandchild, but you have that, that crone energy, okay? You have that grandmother energy where you have self-knowledge, okay? And you're able to teach, Okay? Elders are able to teach. Grandparents are able to teach. We learn from them. Thank you, Spirit. What did I say? I said the priest or priestess. The priestess and body. I'm an embodiment of the divine feminine. Okay? Embodiment of the divine feminine, divine masculine. The holy child, starseed. I am a divine child of the universe. There's a Starcy coming out. Three times Starcy came out, okay? Twice Crisis come out, teacher. That's really weird because guess what? My husband just came home. Is it coming home? He just got home. Spirit was trying to tell me. He's coming home. He just walked in the door, you guys. 
crazy. Okay, what else is going on here? That's why you're high ranking because you're a teacher. You empower, you embody. You're a child of the universe. Okay, we have Anaki. Okay, this could be the people that could be trying to come between you. Controlling drama, conflict, interest. That's why um, you may be keeping your relationship on the down low. Keeping it hidden because there could be somebody coming, trying to come in between this. Try to cause drama between you and your other person or these two souls. Conflict of interest. In the past, this could have been what was kept tearing you apart. Okay? Drama. Flower of life. Inspiration. Awe. Dreams. This person inspires you. This other soul inspires you. You inspire them. And that came out in the beginning. Remember, inspire. Okay, someone has mantis um, energy, mantis beings. Mantis is very sensitive and inclusive, but this is where you can feel vibrations and frequencies. Okay, so like when I go into a different city or town, I can feel the vibration frequency if it's a high vibrational city or town or low vibrational. Like where I don't even want to be in there. Like when I go to Rochester, Minnesota, I don't want to be there because it's so low vibrating. I can feel all the negativity, all the toxicity. Then I go up to Detroit Lakes where my ex-husband was and I feel the high vibrational. Like I feel like good souls there and it's not so corrupt and evil there. And so somebody can feel, you can feel frequencies, you can feel things, the mantis energy, okay? Very sensitive. We also have air coming out. Empathy, this is tele telepa telepathy, telepathic communication, air, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini, philosophy, discrimination. Okay, I'm going to grab one of each of these and I'll grab a couple of names for you guys as well and then to close out. Lemuria, manifestation, okay, you're manifesting this, you created this, okay, this is a manifestation that you've been manifesting, or this is what you've been manifesting, you and this person, both, both souls have been manifesting each other, but you got to do a lot of work for this to um, come in fruition, Pleades. Accessing the pleadies, okay, fifth dimensional. There's a said telepathy, telepath, telepathic communication, and connecting with your star family, star centuries. Um, I want to grab some of this. I wish I could what that is. Really. Oh my gosh, I can smell all my candles, guys. I made more candles today. From I made some for myself, and then I made for some for the shop. Yeah, okay. This is travel. Okay, new home. Self-sufficient, sufficient community, group consciousness. This group consciousness, consciousness, global mission, teaching groups. Okay, this is where two souls are going to help um, raise the vibration and consciousness of the collective. Okay, of humanity coming together, galactic civilization. Your sole mission is to live and be at one of the star centers in order to embody your unique teachings and activations to others. Now is a good time to invest in real estate, take opportunities to travel, and be open to invitations to live at the star center. Another meaning of this card may represent that it is an ideal time to change locations and move to other parts of the globe. Whatever it is, you are being guided to arrive at one of these star centers of the betterment of Earth. Okay, you're here to um, bring education. Okay, Free thinking, creative, infinity beings that work together in unity. Okay, coming in together in unity. So it's not just you and the soul, it's other people coming together too. Okay, um, Galactic Federation of Light, which is universal body of intergalactical species working together in alignment for peace and unity. When I say with the blue candle, peace and unity, that's what you and the soul is doing. Coming together, bringing peace and unity to one another. Collective consciousness, raising your vibration. Peaceful reunion. Reunions bring healing. I said reunion. This also coming in reu uh, reu reunion with your, your soul family, your soul tribe. The spinning wheel. Frequencies, upgrades, new plan, adventures, so the adventure travel, spiritual advancement. This is new upgrades, new frequency. 
and then Middle Earth Dragons. Dragon. We are in the year of Dragon. 2024 is the year of Dragon, which I just bought a dragon. Remember, guys, um, his name is Spiral Buddy. Mind opening, grounding, and shamanic rituals. Okay, someone could be a shaman. You or that soul can be a shaman. Medicine woman, medicine man. Okay, healer. Okay, I'm hearing a wizard and an out witch. Okay, um, the female could be a witch or a wizard. Okay, witches and wizards are not all evil. Okay, they're not all bad. Witches are just heal. They have healing. Um, they help heal. Okay, or come in this wizard. Okay, it's not evil. It's not bad. Okay, these two people are not bad or evil. A medicine woman is a a, a witch. Okay, a medicine man is a witch or a wizard as well. Okay, they have magical powers, gifts. Okay, I'm actually going to read something, guys. Because um, I'm getting on people like, oh, witches are evil, they're bad, they're bad, they're bad. A witch is someone that has magical powers, especially, um, okay, so it does the evil ones, but see, they, they want to portray them as evil, okay, but they have magical powers, okay? They say they're right, flying wrong. A woman who is believed to have magical powers and uses them to harm or help others. Okay, so it says harm or help others. Okay, so there's evil witches and there's good witches. Right here, woman who is believed to have magical powers and who uses them to harm or help others. A witch on the broomstick. Witches are persecuted over Western Europe from the 15th century to the 17th. It is claimed that the um, head of dealings with the devil. Okay, because people want to think that these witches are, you know... Working with the devil. Now witches are working with the devil. Okay. Which some witches just, you know, use healing, um, like, uh, herbs and, um, crystals and stuff to heal themselves. Okay. And help others as well. Um, enhantress. Okay. They call them enhantresses too, as well. Okay. Like a magician, sorcerer, enhancer, wizard, wizard, sometimes called enhantress or sorceress. Okay. Malevolent. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, you can actually read it. Like, um, more of it. But people want to say witches are bad. They're born with it, too. They already have the magical be um, Gifts, okay? A wizard is a man who has magical powers, especially in legends and fairy tales. Okay? One skilled in magic, okay? That's the thing. Somebody's really skilled in magic, okay? Um, they can also be clever, skillful person, okay? So, you guys can, you guys can, you know, go within, okay? Christians, uh, religion wants to say witches are bad and evil and they want to behead them and stuff, but most witches just keep to themselves, okay? Most witches just keep to themselves and just, you know, use herbs and heal themselves, okay? With holistic healing and stuff like that. Somebody could be a cashier. Um, head, head wraps. We're in head wrap. I have a head wrap on right now. Yellowstone. Lund. Head wraps will help with your, um, protecting your crown chakra and your third eye, okay? Head wraps help with protect, protecting your crown chakra and your third eye. Rebecca, Howard, Asatru, Kaylin, Keeper of the Keys. Karmic tried to sell DM, DF soul to the devil. So Karmic, see, the Karmic could try to sell your soul or your person's soul. Rhea, Psychedelics, Shrooms, Street Racing, Edward, New Jersey, Barack, State Senate. Somebody has a sneaky rat alert, so be careful, there's a sneaky rat. Northern Lights. Hills have eyes. See, people are watching. People want to know what this this eight couple, okay? This eight couple, this hierarchy, this higher ranked um, couple is, okay? What they're up to. Netherlands, you come from Stardust. Freedom, you're freed, okay? The sister, the sister could be one coming after you. 
Okay, then in between every past life, this sister could have came in between you guys' relationship. Jocelyn, Waterloo, Party Animal, Cuba, criminals watching you, or just people watching you as well. Zeon, 999 completion, light worker, life mission, okay? Steering in the right direction. Coming to an end. Mary Madeline. Mystic, somebody can be a mystical being, okay? Magical, mystical being. Owls, owls um, represent wisdom and also represent secrets, okay? So many can be, coven cults can be part of a secret society, and that could be what you walk away from, or this other person walked away from them. Owls, Francisco, someone has an iPhone, and then Baxter, so the iPhone. Okay, I gotta close this out. Some of you can have walked away from a family of witches or warlocks too, or, you know, as well. Or you got shunned because you're a witch, okay? I heard somebody got shunned because they're a witch or a warlock or a wizard. What? Um, personal alchemy. See, you alchemize. You you have, um, what? Wait. Alchemize. So you can bring negative, you can bring negative into dark. Or, I mean, bring darkness into light. Negativity and positive. Uh, this is my last card. Zero, zero, zero. New beginnings. Be bold with decisions. It will pay off at the start of a new journey. Be bold. Zero, zero, zero. We got Cancer, Taurus, Gemini, Gemini. Gemini are twins, okay? So Gemini. There could have been a Gemini call to Coven as well. Number one. Okay? I love you guys. Love, peace, light, healing, namaste.